Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome back to another Ramadan vlog with me. Today we'll be making pol roti for suhoor. Pol roti is traditional in Sri Lanka. Pol means coconut in Sinhala. So we'll be adding coconut into our dough. To make this, you will need one cup of grated coconut, two of the same cups of flour. You could use plain flour, but if you want it healthy, you could use otter flour. Two tablespoons of oil. Two, ta two teaspoons of sugar. And one teaspoon of salt. And also, you will need lukewarm water. When you dip your finger into the lukewarm water, it will, you will bear the heat. Okay, let's start. First, add your flour into the bowl. Next, add the salt. Now add the coconut. Next add the sugar and give it a good mix. After mixing it, you will add the wet ingredient. which is the oil and the water. Don't forget that you need to mix in all the ingredients properly. Alhamdulillah, we are blessed to reach the 21st of Ramadan. May Allah bless us with good health to fast the rest of the nine fasts. Laylatul Qadr is the night when the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We do not know when it is. Okay. Now let's mix all the wet and dry ingredients together with our hands. Laylatul Qadr is on one of the odd nights of the last 10 days of Ramadan. So make sure you do lots of ibadah because if you do ibadah on Laylatul Qadr, then you will get rewards as if you have done ibadah for 83 years. Whilst you are mixing with your hands, add water little by little. Don't add it all in. You don't need to add the full cup. Make sure that you mix all of the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients because you don't want it to be uneven. Don't just do ibadah on the 27th night when your imam goes like, Oh, it's the lay little qadr today, give sadaqah and everything. You have to do it on all 10 days because it could be on the 21st night, the 23rd night, the 25th night or the 29th night, not just the 27th night. As I told you before, we do not know when Laylatul Qadr is. If you use both hands to knead, you can use your other hand to get the remaining dry ingredients into the dough. If you find it sticky, you can add more flour. If you find it dry, you can add more water. Now I have washed my hands so the dough does not stick on my hands. I'm gonna add more flour because my one is a bit sticky. Don't forget to stretch your dough because if you don't stretch your dough, the gluten won't stretch. Don't forget to take all the remaining dough. Laylatul Qadr is the night of power. And Angel Jibreel comes and visits us once again. Ramadan, Ramadan, Oh
everywhere So much peace fills up the air Ramadan, month of the Quran I feel it Now it's a really good consistency I have kneaded the flour really good with the coconut now I'm going to make it into a ball and leave it to the side to rest for half an hour. Laylatul Qadr is not a normal night, not an average night. I'm sending the best of all the angels down to all of you. Allah references to us. This one night of worship will give us more than 83 years of continuous worship. Every minute of Laylatul Qadr is worth more than 2.5 months of worship. Now it's been an hour and the dough is ready to roll. I am giving it a good punch. It is a blessing because some people won't live up to 83 years. But if you do a bada on Laylatul Qadr, you will be rewarded as if you did it for 83 years. On this night, our cutter is announced for the rest of the year. Now I'm rolling the dough and now I'm going to separate it into six pieces. Now I have cut it into six pieces. I'm going to make dough balls out of them. And I'm going to roll all six of them and keep them aside. Then I'm going to put flour on my clean surface. Then I'm going to make them flat and then cut them so they can be in a perfect circle. Then I'm going to repeat the same with all of them. <laughs> Now I have rolled my dough. I actually made six balls, but I turned out to be eight because I um, used the extra dough to make two more. Now it's ready to be cooked. I'm going to cut, put them three by three. I have put margarine on the pan and I'm going to cook both sides of the rotis evenly on medium heat. <laughs> Sabi, 
The rotis are getting cooked nicely. While the other rotis are cooking, I am adding some margarine to the hot rotis to make it more softer and yummier. But this is optional, you don't need to do it. Then I'm going to transfer it to another plate. I'm doing this so I can get it ready to eat for my suhoor. I can't wait to eat it and it looks so good. This can be eaten with chocolate spread, honey, and if you like it spicy, you can eat it with chili paste. But it goes best with dates or it even goes even better by itself. And it goes really good with banana and sugar. For my suhoor, I had this with egg. I hope you enjoyed making this roti with me. Comment down below if it turned out good for you and if you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So let's give charity as much as possible every day. As well as giving charity, let's recite Quran, do dhikr and good deeds and offer two voluntary rakats such as Tahajjud and Qiyamul Layl every day. So if we do this on Layl al Qadr, it's as if you're giving charity or doing all these good deeds for 83 years or a thousand months. I see you all in my next video inshallah. Hope you all enjoyed this video.